Well, it had been a while since our last proper vlog. I believe on like New Year's or something, I did an update thing playing where I've been, but now I'm actually back to the vlog. And I should probably say that as far as MLP class of vlog go, I'm not doing them at least for a while. I'm going to come back to doing them, but I just didn't feel up to it and I haven't had much time to do that kind of thing. And it's not urgent for me to do vlog on coming old. With something new like this, I, I feel need to take time out of day to do it. Not though, so I'll either have to either wait till he can come back on to do them, or just simply stop doing them. So, that got but oh well. I would hope to do some more, but I, you know, big guy, you'll get plenty of vlog this week alone. So, we're back from Milo Murphy vlog, and they are, and after a long break, they are bombing the heck out of the show by picking out a bunch of episodes at once, which has always been a great practice, like, you know, the summer of evening it. But hey, maybe it will turn out well to get the show more publicity and what have you. Pretty much a back on Dick Lee, by the way. Go, go for the next few weeks, give new episodes Monday through Thursday, because we don't know how bombs are supposed to work. But that's not important. Let's just talk about, let's just quickly talk about our first episode. For a week, Family Vacation, written by Joshua Pierrette. Uh, before I can even think, I should probably say that the episode got airing at 6 a.m., because we already won't go wake at, at that point, right? But they're also going again at 4 p.m., beginning at 30, 20, pointless. But while 6 a.m., only one episode to air per day, but the 4 p.m. showing you on my TV guy DVR thing show get paired with the episode we put there tomorrow, Murphy and Lard. And I will wanting to wait until that air to see if I actually did air up or not. But considering that airing that one tomorrow and only that one, I figured that even if Doug air, I figured I'd just wait till tomorrow to do that vlog and watch it. So that kind of fan on vacation. Um so Agritown Death the Murphy family are going on vacation and they used to plan for it but for Ollie Green and they never worked out. So they're just going with the flow. And, but even that backfired on the mega um, they while accidentally switch from playing they accidentally find go with going out. Basically when they stop at a gas station he accidentally walk in a gun off an R V and they have to deal with Murphy's Law for, for the time being. Um but all Kong that got code, I believe it was Kong in each up code for last no we're getting what day or while or left to go. I go for took a break and then got the code. Um, the Kong's really fun. I think it's not quite as good as Murphy and Amy, but it's also pretty, still pretty good. Very catchy. Um, even like a bit later, a Dana coming in, <laughs> which I like. Um, after I'm going to go, I really liked this one. Um, I knew I would like it, but I've enjoyed it even more. Um, for one thing, if they come from the row, they can do a more stuff than they could in uh, a replica. So they get to do all these crazy things. But for the joke line, we're definitely some good joke. For the running gag. Of like well we jar like when they can't kind of thing like like uh, I can't remember like uh, I don't remember They're like <laughs> not to acquire jar like like at at the end he had to play my jar for happy sentiment <laughs> yeah we got a good joke like that and the people who end up with um have every twin um one thing Charlene <laughs> um who are. Get attracted to my own danger because they're they give their family very obvious kind of their dad plan thing, you know, very specifically and they go to Grand Canyon every year. You know, for favorite canyon. Oh, by by the way, they go to the Grand Canyon for the kick, in order to avoid the Mount Marshall Regent, they're specifically shown entering the state line of Colorado, implying that they're not from there, but they're going to there. So we're avoiding the whole Mount Rushmore confusion from here. Um <laughs> No, for our, um, yeah, for our good joke from Tashio Boy, make a cameo. It's, it's like, it's a good exchange. I love them, guy. I think they're my favorite character so far. Their interactions are golden. Everything club put about them, actually, I believe, like next week. <laughs> Half win. Um, so, yeah. There's, there are quite a few good jokes in this one. Um, and the overall eventual perspective in the second half, where they, things get really freaky and out of control, like the break. Stop working, so they they just keep going, and they're gonna get a joke in. And looking at day, oh my god, I just reminded me of, oh my god, I have to talk about the joke. Looking at, we already know that we say golf, I got it, 
Yeah, it broke one through family. Um, and then we see in the past they got another vacation that have not turned out well. Like the Titanic and the Hindenburg. Yeah. That might be crossing a line or two. And I don't know if I find it tingling or funny. Or both. That's not the Frank Hindenburg we're seeing in the Dwamp Ever, I can really call it. You know, Infinity, Fact and Infinity, if we referenced it at one point. So, okay, then. Catch a dark joke. Um, but if Franco for a tank, I mean, better Franco for wrapping dog. I'm keeping an eye on you, DOG. Speaking of which, they leave DOG home, but he still walks all the way out there. Like, wow, DOG. <laughs> And, um, you know, the kind of game, first half is definitely solid, but the kind of half where it really picked up and get particularly fun. And, um, you know, like with the giant corn made out of ham, a kettle claw, which made out of bacon. Um, and it's done in very obvious CG. Not that that big of a deal, it probably meant to look kind of off, but so obvious when the CG elements appear. And both the thing for the one critical combat, when the CG is obvious, when it's something CG, you know. You know, like, go, so, and, uh, but here, most, the only notable, is, well, the helicopter appearing, like, I mean, after that, definitely can be, but, oh, well, um, <laughs> yeah, and, and then even, like, um, it, they do make it obvious what can happen to the family, we're going to learn about, hey, okay, I'm totally fine, and, but I still think I work pretty well, well um, and, he don't think I had already. It's a shorter Kong. I thought it'd be a longer Kong than it was. I think we're looking for the enemy to longer. No, well, um, uh, that the dad, the dad guy, he went by Rob Morrow, who I don't know of, but he got Finnie and try to take treasure. I think he's uh, that guy in Canada can plot. <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking about that going earlier for Regan. Oh God, that kind of thing. Um, you know. And then definitely a nice ending where everything all worked out. Um, go, that could really particularly fun episode because we got a lot of good jokes. And because we're on the road, I mean, they get the shaping of a bit. It's a kind of chaos, but because it's on the road, there's a lot more going on. And it's particularly entertaining. So, I really like this one. It's a lot of fun, making good joke. It's an interesting scenario. When it started, when it was my family, I thought it'd give like that more Dutch vibe episode where he and, um, you know, I can tell because we with like, Fight with kind of either they don't know it or don't care, but do you quit fighting anyone? So that kind of <laughs> yeah, so um, you know, um, yeah, I, yeah, I knew I'd like the point, but they ended up being particularly high energy and you know, good joke. And again, word play during Craig the Crab, I'm forgetting again, making fun of, yeah, go, so, yeah, particularly enjoyable. So, you know, okay. Welcome to that show in Kofar. It's under Gold Files, which I was my favorite Kofar. Um, but I, I quite like him. I mean, you know, Cole, I like him. Um, and it, yeah, it's interesting. But yeah, I think that's it for the cup of code out of that. You know, I don't want to pull out a joke, and I've pulled a bit too much already, especially the Hindenburg thing. But particularly high energy, I'm going to a particularly night nice ending. So, yeah, go so very enjoyable. I'm going to a really nice way to start off, I think. It's like from looking at to take a break for one, you know, not, you know, they get cameo, you know, that kid. Um, yeah, but that's what we got to do up here, so. Anyway, let me pull up. Anyway, tomorrow I got the code. Let's see. Tomorrow I got the code Murphy Clark. My little guy can wait to help us to move past their fear of being on a roller coaster. There better be a certain reference on that one. Go. That should be good. I'm looking forward to a lot of the upcoming. Oh, I forgot to mention. Basically, around midnight, 1 a.m. or go, didn't have to pick up whatever app we are airing for that day on their app early, which is only like, only because it's the day. Like, they figured, but not wait a day after, put the day up. If the day of, technically speaking, and you don't have to wait that long to be up code, that's fine. I'm okay with doing that. They did it with Star. You know, they did it with for sure, but particularly with other. And they did with one. Um, but then they kind of uh, grew up a bit and basically accidentally premiered at least majority of the upcoming getting the month with Cap for Turn 2. Not even kidding, you can go to the app if you have it or what have you. You know, and they already have all but two of them. Good on you. 
Great, 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 great. Now I'm gonna get spoiled the heck. You know, a friend on Twitter just bit the bullet and watched all of them that were there. And he posted some you can spoil your guys video stream to talk about. But not spoiler, but just kind of reading background things, but like. But, yeah, so, um, be wary of spoiler in case we'll get a leak out. Mm -hmm. My definition of leak is. You know, that's pretty good by now. If it's not put, no, I haven't got aired yet. It's a leak. Go. Go. I'll be sure not to watch any of them. Um, uh, maybe I'll watch one. I don't know. Um, go. There you go. I only talked longer because I had to talk about where I, I've been and what's going on and talk about the FD kerfuffle. So, there you go. I shall see you tomorrow from Murphy Lord and. Right. Oh, and this week could be big for a vlog, because Monday through Friday I have a mile up code, and on Friday, a first impression vlog on Tangled with Hearing, we're talking about the pilot movie thing we're doing. Then on Saturday, my discussion of the first episode of Camera Jackson Year 5. Yep. I'll get more into detail on those things when we get to them. Yeah, I'll do all the other Camera Jackson Year 5. I'm just going to talk first episode of the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Go. That should be. We're really being good. Actually, no, I'll talk about for a while. Why I won't do a whole thing when I get to that. Um, anyway, so I think back about it. This one a little longer. And, um, I'm gonna get back in the group of doing the VR type thing. So I shall see you tomorrow from Murphy's Lard. About a Nordy to review a pilot for my movie recently. Very good timing on that part. Go check out that video. And, well, go here.